In many industrial processes, cutting material on the fly is needed. A flying saw cuts materials on a conveyor which is continuously moving. In this application example, you will find a clearly structured solution for implementing a flying saw with the S7 1500T CPU. The application provides typical flying saw functionalities within a lean project structure. The associated example project, Flying Saw Basic, covers various areas of application. You can use the included programs straight away or add individual functions to these programs. Also, you can integrate the included HMI project in your application case or use it directly for simulation and test purposes. Let's take a look at how easy it is to use this application example. Once you download the project from the Siemens website, it is ready to use. The application is completely open source, which allows the user to tailor the program according to his specific needs. Let's dive into the PLC code. As we can see, the whole functionality is enclosed in one function block for each type of flying saw. We have two different types of operation immediately available. The user can choose between cutting to length functionality or cutting using measuring sensor directly on the HMI, without having to change the PLC code. Now, we are going to see how a user can quickly test this application example. First, download the project to the PLC. This is basically all you have to do to start testing this application. Next, let's see how the HMI looks. In this screen, you can select whether you want to use CAC to length or measuring input functionality. We will select CAC to length first. Thanks to the integrated simulation, you can test the application without having the actual flying saw hardware, making it perfect for test purposes. For this demonstration, we are going to simulate both the leading and the following axis, that's to say, the conveyor and the saw axis. How do we get this machine running? It's so easy. First, go to the status bar. The status bar can be used to change and monitor the operational status of the machine. We turn the machine on and hit reset. Now we have to home the saw axis. Once the axis is homed, let's change the operation mode to automatic. We enable automatic saw operation and set cut simulation to active. Well, that's all. Let's get this machine moving. Parameters such as leading axis speed or cut length can be easily changed on the fly, adding extra flexibility. Let's trigger an error to see how you can track its source. We change to the messages screen where you can see the source of the error thanks to the color status indicators and clear error messages. If the source of the error is a hardware malfunction, you can track it on the diagnostic screen. For further parameter changes, go to the settings screen, where you can also see the status of the machine. We already demonstrated the cut to length functionality. Now let's choose the measuring input operation to see how it works. For this matter, we are going to turn the measuring input simulation on. Just as we did with the cut to length functionality, we get the machine running. External encoder or real leading axis can be changed on the fly.
Siemens. Ingenuity for life.